Education is the cornerstone of how we advance as a society. A quality education has a tremendous amount of impact on the individual as well as the community in which that individual lives. The reason why I decided to do this particular Fulbright is I was really frustrated um, and distraught by these racial inequities I noticed in my school district. I went to New Zealand because I was really inspired by the ways in which they were supporting their indigenous Māori students. They were supporting Māori as Māori to be able to be their true authentic selves, to be able to bring in their cultural traditions and norms and have that be a priority within classrooms. I came back ready and capable to make change. I came up with a, my own racial equity coaching model, which I did in Chicago public schools. The Fulbright really let me see that I had a mission beyond just myself, that I had a whole community that needed me to be standing strong to make change. What I realized is that although I'm a scientist and I work in my lab and I'm an educator and I teach in the classroom, that we have a responsibility with the skills and the knowledge we have that goes beyond. Young women need role models to look up to who they can learn from and especially people who have not had to sacrifice being a mother, having a family and also being a scientist at the same time. So hopefully through the Fulbright program, I have been able to inspire a lot of young women to pursue their dreams. To me, literacy and science are interconnected. Wheel of Reading is changing mindsets through reading to create change makers. We train youth, women, and men how to read aloud as an art in their local language. The program has spread to 63 countries around the world. I had the honor to be Minister of Education of Peru for um, for more than more than three years. There's a lot of inequality in terms of the education opportunities within the country. So we passed a law that created um, a complete new system of quality assurance and created a new superintendency of higher education, which was a, an extremely complex political endeavor, but it was absolutely critical. I am really fortunate of being a global director for education at the World Bank. We have many, many children who even are in school, both in low and middle income countries who cannot read and understand a simple text by age 10, which is what we call learning poverty. Learning is really not happening in many countries, and that's the key challenge. It's about working with governments to improve the quality of the systems as a whole. When I stepped down as president of Wheaton College after 10 years in 2014, I made it very clear at the time that I did not intend to do another presidency. But when I was approached about the University of Richmond, I was intrigued. The university had become, in a very brief period of time, tremendously more economically and racially diverse. My highest goal when I first came here was to use the rich diversity to change the culture of the community to ensure that every student, regardless of their background, their race, their ethnicity, their gender, that every student could thrive here. Every student felt as though they belonged here. There's no better way to ensure that you can make a contribution to changing that culture than through education. We went to India with a group of administrators and we met with our counterparts at Indian institutions in different cities with different responsibilities in order to understand the nature of the Indian educational system. I really think my Fulbright experience has informed my presidency tremendously. I think it makes me better at this position, better on behalf of the University of Minnesota, which of course is a global high impact institution, because I'm so much more aware of how different things can be and how beautiful those differences can be and how important it is to really appreciate those differences in the decisions we make and the strategies we implement. When I came home from my Fulbright, I just felt on fire. I felt inspired. And so I started to seek out other opportunities. And one of those opportunities was with uh, National Geographic Education. I had the opportunity to spend 10 days out in New Mexico wilderness. And we really framed our entire humanities curriculum around 
outdoor spaces around the concepts of preservation and conservation. This was significant and this was, I think, really born out of my Fulbright experience as well because I was working with primarily students who were immigrant children. People of color often don't have the same opportunities to experience outdoors or experience um, wilderness spaces in ways that perhaps other demographics are. It was the absolute kind of experiential teaching and learning that teachers dream about. I see the role of Fulbright in future education, keeping those opportunities and those channels open for exchange between different cultures, different religions, different contexts, different disciplines, so that we can learn from each other. Fulbright is innovative in thinking about the future of education because it allows people to do the important learning, the work, the research, to be able to make change.